What's going on, my fellow monster-loving weirdos? Tonight, I'm shooting a quick video of my Mezco Nosferatu bundle. I pre-ordered this, like, way back at the beginning of summer, and it finally just arrived. Okay, I'm going to start off with this cool extra that he came with. It's a film cell from the little short film that they made at Mezco. It was pretty cool. It's the shadow of the vampire. Pretty nice looking. And he came with this cool t-shirt. Very nice design. And he came with this awesome lunchbox. It's actually much larger than I thought it would be. It's my other Mezco guys rattling around inside of him. Inside the store. And a couple other Mezco guys in here. I got the zombies. And the Dark Knight Batman. Don't worry, I normally have padding in here, so I'm not going to be rattling around and getting all beat up looking and stuff. This is a really cool little lunchbox thing. It's made out of metal. I really, really like it. Then there's the Count. Really cool figure. Comes with a lot of really awesome accessories. He has a little lantern and he comes with the little weird hat that Nosferatu wears. It's removable in case you're wondering. A lot of really great detail. You can even see like veins on his head and stuff. His clothes are really nice. He's got little medieval elf boots on and leggings and this cool jacket. It's kind of frayed on the Indians. Really nice tailoring. He's got like a little scarf or something on underneath it. It's not removable as far as I can tell. Not that I'd want to take it off for some reason, but it comes with the stand that actually works pretty good considering the little tiny peg but it holds them up good and it comes with an angry head sculpt a lot of nice detail on this guy and it comes with a neutral portrait with his Mouth closed. It comes with a variety of different hands. Grasping hands and hands to hold things and beckon to people. And he has a set of keys. So I'm not sure why he needs keys because every door seems to just open for him or he passes through the door or something. He comes with six rats, one of which is standing up. They actually uh, are pretty good where they aren't like all the same. They have different sculpts on like three of them. He comes with this red coffin. It's made out of plastic. And it's got dirt inside. And this warm over rats I guess so he won't be lonely when he's sleeping or whatever chill with his army of rats and he actually fits in here really nice Pretty creepy. 
creepy peeking out of the deal at everyone. So if you're really into Nosferatu like I am, I suggest that you track down this guy, although I'm not 100% on where you'd get one of these now because I think they're sold out for the most part. But I think you can get on a waiting list on the Mezco website last time I checked a while back. Oh yeah, one more thing. It comes with this really cool, uh, what's his name, Gomez? That's the mascot for Mezco. He has a little ghetto blaster he's holding. But all in all, even though it's a little pricey, I really, really, really love this bundle that I got. And I think it's a really, really quality set. And like I said, if you really like Nosferatu, I highly recommend this to you.